Okay, what up, y'all? We're back with a brand new video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you appreciate the content. Last video went kind of crazy with the Z Image Turbo, so today we are doing Flux 2 on AI Toolkit. Uh, we're gonna be using uh, RunPod instead of doing it locally because most people are not gonna be able to train Flux 2 locally. Uh, I was able to with a 5090 and 128 gigs of RAM. So if you don't have that, I would say don't even bother. Uh, it's probably not going to work. And if it does, it's going to be pretty slow. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is the kind of results we can expect. This is a 1440p image. So, uh, and it took about 1 minute 30 seconds to generate on the 5090 in Config UI. So it's pretty slow, but what do you want to do? The model is so big that it's kind of, there's no way around it. So yeah, we're going to jump in a uh, fucking uh, run pod and get started. Let's go. Okay, so just go over to runpod.com. If you don't already have an account, you can grab the link in the description to get free credits once you put in $10. Uh, this is that right here. Uh, once you have an account, uh, just go over to pods and here you need to select the GPU you're going to use to do the training. Um, the general rule uh, for Flux 2, I think is going to be anything over 40 gigs of VRAM should work. Um, I'm going to use uh, Pro 6000, but I think L40, L40S, all of those might work. I, I didn't try, but I know the Pro 6000 will work for sure because that's what I use to train. Uh, here we go and change the template. We write Austris here. This is going to grab AI Toolkit uh, Docker image directly and install it. Uh, you can edit the storage settings, but I'll just leave as is and then you can just deploy on demand. While this is going, we need to go to huggingface.com uh, .co, sorry. So when you go on Hugging Face, you go, so you need to create an account, obviously. Then you need to go to your settings and access tokens. You just create a new token, give it a name. So, oh, Lux2, uh, you need to select those three here. I think that's it then create the token copy it back to my pods and here you for you is going to be downloading uh something uh, for me it's already done because i did it a couple of times so uh, i'm just going to open uh, austria's ai toolkit here for the password the password is password like literally password Okay, then we go to the settings and we're just gonna paste uh, the hugging face key. This is gonna let us download the model um, for the training. If you don't do that, you're gonna get an error. So if you get an error, make sure you do that. Then we go to the data set. Um, we need to add a new data set and we can just name that whatever we want. And we just drag and drop our data set directly in there. Okay, so like this, boom. Okay, this is the data set, looks good to me. Um, then we go to new job. So here we just named the Laura, that's gonna be uh, this uh, Flux2 test. Uh, we don't need the trigger word uh, for the model that our architecture architect, architecture damn bro architecture flux 2 uh we select low vram if you're not using uh, a pro 6000 like i do uh, you might need to use low vram uh, you can leave that as is leave that as is here um i like to save every 100 you can leave it to 250 if you want um and i want to keep every single uh, save uh, for the training settings, so here I like to go uh, 0 0.0002. Uh, this is my preferred learning rate. The default is half of that, so should take twice as long, technically. Um, I like to cache the text embeddings here. 
and this is all I, you need to change in here. Um, for the steps, you don't need to change that. You can just stop the training whenever you think the samples look good. Um, for the data set, you can just select whatever data set you have here. You cache the latents and here you select the resolution you want to train at. So uh, the LoRa we saw in the start was 512. So you can get pretty good results with 512. If you want to go 768 and 1024 as well, you can. It's only going to be, you know, way slower on the training, but that's up to you. And for the sample, so I want to see a sample every 100 steps of training. So I just set 100 here and I remove all of those. I don't need all of those. And then uh, we have uh, the sample prompt. So this is the prompt that's going to be generated every 100 steps. And when you see the face looks, you know, what you want it to look like in the samples, you can just stop the training, uh, download your models and uh, drop them in Confi and you should be able to use them right there. So I'll create a job for this. Let's go. And then you just need to click the play button in the top right. You're going to see running one job. It should work because we gave the proper permissions. Okay, there it is. So it's going to download uh, the Flux2 dev model. Uh, it's quite fast. So 64 gigs um, should take less than a minute to download. As you can see there, the speed is kind of crazy. And after that, it's just going to start training and you just got to wait and see, check the samples every now and then. Once it's basically uh, looking like your uh, data set, you can just stop the training, download the models and drop them directly in Confi uh, for uh, inference and content generation and shit like that. So that's pretty much it. I'll be back when uh, we are done training this one and that's going to be the video. Let's get it. Okay, so after 20 minutes, we are at step uh, almost 600. And if we go see the samples, so this uh, sample prompt was not the best. That was the default one, but you can't see the face from the front, so it's not really useful. But even, even if we can still see that um, you're getting the likeness that we're expecting, right? Even if it's from an angle, I can pretty much see the same person from the data set directly here. So for me, that's pretty much training. I'll just stop the training. Boom, stop. Now for the pod. So if you want to stop the pod, you can. You can just stop it and it's going to cost you one cent per hour. So 33 cents a day. Um, or you can just completely stop it and just do the whole process again and re-download the model you want. Um, in the next time you run it, um, that's going to save you a little bit of money. So that's up to you. I'll just terminate it. This, that's going to delete everything and you can just start up a new pod um, the next time you want to train something. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for the support and I will be seeing you in the next video. Peace.